it's Amy and today I'm going to show you guys some super duper easy and cute DIY Christmas decor that you guys can make at home. So let's just get right into the video. First up we have snowy pine cones. So for this craft you will obviously be needing some pine cones. I'm getting all my pine cone collection that I collected near my house. I have a lot of pine cones near my house so I just got it from there. And next you just need white paint. So basically start off by painting the top whole base of your pine cone and then the little flaps on the side you also want to paint white as you guys can see i'm not really putting my best effort because i think the more messier it is the better it looks because i'm trying to go for a snowy pine cone so i wanted to have a little snowing touch to it that's why i'm kind of getting a little bit messy but i really think i like it this way you guys don't have to use white paint um you guys can use any colors christmas colors like green and red i just went with white because i want to have a little snowy pine cones Now I went ahead and flipped it over and painted the little edges and the inside of the pine cone. So since my pine cones were going to be straight up this way, I went ahead and painted really nicely and kind of more paint on this side since this is the side that's going to be showing. But you guys can do it anyway how you guys like it. Also, you guys don't have to paint the full inside part. You just want to paint the edges because it's like a snowy pine cone. But if you want to paint your whole pine cone, you can. Next, I went ahead and painted all of my other pine cones the same way I did the first one and set them to dry on my paint palette just because they fitted on my paint palette together. And when I was done with that, I went ahead and put them next to each other to let them dry. Also, I do recommend you guys to have something underneath your surface because the pine cones did shred a bit and it was a bit messy. So just have something underneath to protect your surface. And then you're done. I love how these turned out and I even decorated one by putting berries and leaves on the side of it. And I just love how cute it looks. Next up, we have the super duper cute Star Garland. So I had a star template that I traced over a sheet of paper fully and you just want to make any shape you guys want. I went with the star since uh, the star kind of matched my Christmas theme. And when you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and cut it out. But before you guys cut it out, you guys can go ahead and color or paint it any color you want. I didn't because I was going to put this up on my fireplace and it suited perfectly on my fireplace. So that's why I just left it white. After you're done cutting it out, you want to go ahead and attach it to a string. I chose a red string because again, it went with the fireplace super duper nicely. But you guys can choose any string you want. And after that, you're done. You guys can hang this up anywhere you want. So the next DIY I was initially going to show you guys was this super duper nice decoration where you guys can put it anywhere. But I tried to do a lot of transitions on how to show you guys how to make this DIY because I made this DIY before I filmed the video and I got the idea of filming this video and showing this craft inside of it a long time ago after I'd already made this. So I couldn't show you guys it anyhow but I'm going to tell you guys how I made it. Basically I took two pieces of wood. One is smaller and one is bigger. This is basically like my ca uh, calendar I made in one of my previous videos but smaller. I painted it the, the color I wanted and drew my design. I chose a Christmas tree because I was going with a Christmas design but you guys can choose anything. And then I attached both of these with super glue and then I was done. And again I'm so sorry guys I can't show you how I made this because I made this before i filmed this video but i am going to show you guys something else that i also made in this video next up we have this joy sign for this craft i'm using some foam board you guys can use wood i didn't because i didn't have a big piece of wood but all i want to do is draw a rectangle my measurements were i think 18 centimeters into 20 centimeters in case you guys want to use them next i went ahead and cut it out and used a nail file to find out the edges and surprisingly they were pretty good Next, I went ahead and draw my words, my letters, joy. And I did a brief sketch of it on how I want it and where I want it. And then I went ahead and raised those lines and did everything into bubble letter. And then I went ahead and outlined everything with a black Sharpie except the O because we're going to do something else with the O. 
And I went ahead and painted my J and Y red. You guys can use any colors. I just went with red because for the O, I was going to make a wreath and I thought it perfectly suited with the green wreath. For the wreath, I basically took a round brush and dabbed all my light green and dark green paint all over the wreath, making a circle. So first I start off by dabbing it on the lines, and then on the both of the lines, and then layered paint darker and lightly to make a gradient effect. After I was done with that, I went ahead and painted the background color gray just because I liked how gray suited on both of these. You guys can do anything again any color you want but i just went ahead and painted it gray and let it to dry after it was dried i went ahead and did the wreath again because the gray border was showing a circle shape and i wanted a leafy shape so i went ahead and did the wreath from the borders again painted and i used a black sharpie to outline the j and y because all of it just disappeared after that i used my dotting tool if you guys don't have a dotting tool you guys can use a q-tip or end of a paintbrush and i went ahead and made a lot of berries on my wreath and I also went ahead and draw a little bow because I thought it suited perfectly. And then you're done. I punched two holes in the top and attached a red string and attached that to the back just so I can hang it up. And I just love how cute this turned out. So guys, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys in this video. If you do, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that little notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. Bye, see you next time.